Hello friends, this video on periodic classification of elements part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study periodic table. We will study history of periodic table. That is, we will study Devonia's trade, Newlands law, Eck octave, Mendeley's periodic table, modern periodic table. We will also study trends in modern periodic table. So let's start with our chapter. Periodic table. The first question that should come to our mind is what is periodic table? Correct? Because the name of the chapter is periodic table. Periodic table is nothing but a tabular display. Please note a tabular display of chemical elements and they are organized based on their atomic numbers. We know its atomic number. Electronic configuration. I hope you know what is electronic configuration for a particular element and their chemical properties. So you arrange this elements in a tabular fashion such that if you see all these elements they have similar chemical properties they have similar chemical properties so you arrange in that fashion and uh, these elements have similar electronic configurations and uh, the atomic number keeps increasing if you go from here to here here to here right like this so th there's a way to uh, arrange the elements so the the goal is that we have so many elements, we have to arrange it and we arrange those elements, right? The, the elements of chemistry, the chemical elements on some order so that it is easy to pick one element and tell what is the property of that. So I'll tell you why it is used. So why should we study predictable? So we have 114 elements known as of today and the list is increasing because every year or so uh, some of the chemists find a new element altogether. So the list is increasing, the list is growing. It is not constant list, right? So we have to somehow arrange this element because handling these 114 elements is a big task, right? Remembering what is the property of which element and what kind of reaction a particular element goes to. So those kind of things are difficult if we don't have any tabular form to represent those. So that's the reason why we have a predictable. One example is the real life when you go to shop, shopkeeper if you must have seen, he arranged everything in a particular order. For example, all the soaps will be in this corner, right? All the shampoos will be in this corner, maybe uh, all the uh, vegetables will be in this corner. You're going to, be, I'm talking about a grocery shop, right? You go to any grocery shop or you go to any shop, even if you go to medical shop, what they do is they arrange the medicines based on the alphabets. So that is one way of arranging to make the life of shopkeeper easy, right? If, if someone goes and say, I want element X or object X, he knows this object S belongs to this group. He go to the particular group, grab it and give it to you. One more example can be a supermarket. So when you go to a big supermarket, what you see is they have made uh, different categories. Maybe this category, maybe they are uh, uh, storing only soaps and uh, detergent. Maybe this, uh, this one, maybe they are storing dry foods, right? This guy, maybe for uh, cosmetics, right? This may be for uh, kitchen, kitchen uh, utensils, right? Maybe this is for uh, biscuits, cookies. Maybe this guy is for uh, vegetables. So what happens as, as a customer, when you go to a uh, hyper city or big, big mall, you see, you have, you see that this mall or this store contains a lot of items. And for you to find one is very difficult, right? So what they do is they organize stuff. So let's suppose you're looking for vegetable, and let's suppose you're looking for potato. So what you have to do is the first thing you do is you go to the vegetable section, and then you can go find a product. If you're looking for a particular man of shampoo, you go to a, a cosmetic section, you go and get the shampoo, right? Similarly, uh, if you're looking for a particular detergent, you go to, you go to detergent uh, section and get the detergent, right? So that makes your life easy. Similar thing in this case. So they have arranged the elements in a particular tabular fashion so that it's easy to pick one element or just by looking at the element and looking at the position of that element in the periodic table, you can guess on the property of the element and stuff like that, right? So we'll discuss more on that. The first, but before that, uh, let's understand why this word periodic table came, why it is called periodic table, why it is not called ABC table or why it is not called 
um, anything, but it is called periodic table. Why? Periodic, it is called periodic because in the periodic table, we will see that the elements, they repeat their chemical and physical property after a periodic interval. So if you go from here to here, right? So let's suppose it has property X, this guy has Y, this guy has Z. Again, you come here, right? This element will also have X, again Y, again Z. So there's a period with, right? On which it, it, uh, it repeats the property. Correct. So that's why it's called periodic because the physical and chemical property of elements are repeated after a periodic interval. And what is called table because it is in tabular form. That's why it's called table. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.